Hi friends, April Peck here, local resident of Pickway County Area Market and Realtor to Central Ohio. I wanted to bring up a topic that I've been getting tons of questions about. How to compete with cash buyers and how can their bid win in a seller's market? So if you can please hit that subscribe button, tap on that bell, so that way you're sure not to miss the videos that we're making about Central Ohio and Pickway County. In my channel, I will be covering information about what it's like to live in Central Ohio and the suburbs and the different things to do in those areas and just fun, cool stuff that's gonna be happening in the area. So if you're in the area, make sure to contact me. Reach out to me by phone, text, email, um, whatever's the best convenience for you. I love helping people with their housing needs. It's always been a passion for me and let me assist you through that process. So here in my video, make sure you watch the entire clip. That way you will get to see the three proven ways on how to win in a bidding war and also see how the process flows from submitting an offer to making it all the way to the closing table. Hi buyers, I'm on my way to a property showing to meet with clients and it could be you. Just wanted to share with you a couple of the documents that I like to bring to all of my showings. The first one is the MLS data sheet. This is just some basic information that can include square footage, taxes, or possibly some updates that the seller has done to the home. Another document I also like to bring along is called the Residential Property Disclosure. This is a document that the homeowner personally completed to disclose any known and unknown conditions of the property. I'm so excited to get to this next showing and I'll fill you in more when we get there. So hey buyer, this is it. This is the one. This is the property that you're ready to write an offer on. One of the first things that you're going to need to have in hand is your pre-qualified letter from your lender. This is the piece that lets the seller know that you're a serious buyer. And without a pre-qualified letter, it's very possible that your offer may get set aside.
So then you may ask, what would be a strong offer to present to the seller? There are a lot of factors that can come into play besides purchase price. Maybe it's the possession time. The seller may need a lengthy possession time and maybe that works for you as a buyer and maybe it does not. Another thing that you may want to consider is uh, waiving contingencies. Also, offering appraisal gap coverage. Those are some things that me as your realtor, an experienced agent, will help guide you step by step in presenting those offers for you. So, let's just go ahead and get to the next step. So we'll give them till like tomorrow. Um, and I'm, I'm not gonna, I think if we just keep the time open for them to decide, um, they're saying like 6 p.m., but I'm sure they'll make their decision by tomorrow. Um, so possession time, how much time would you want after you close? So we go to closing um, to give them possession time to get out. Like how many days would you give them? So we're wrapping things up and we just submitted the purchase offer to the buyers for their signature. Once I receive that back, we will get that over to the listing agent for them to present to their clients. So um, getting this wrapped up, it's been a long day and my clients are really excited about this house and we gave them our best offer. So good luck. your name appears and dated twice. Today is the 23rd. Okay. estate agent, I can help you determine your buying power, assist you in the informational process, and help you understand today's market.